I gotta put something that's gonna pump me up because I never spoke in front of a crowd before. We're here, we arrived, let's go. Hey, what's up? We just arrived from Saka High School, my old high school. I'm about to give a little speech to the students, you know, hopefully someone leaves today inspired and motivated and wanting to do better. So, here we go. So, did you guys like that video or what? It's, it's, it's an honor to be here talking in front of you guys today. You know, when I used to see guys on TV, I, it was just a pipe dream to me. Like, wow, you know, I wish I could do that one day. Thinking that they're making millions of dollars. Raise your hand if you watch these music videos, you watch these basketball games, the, the boats, the houses. How many of you guys are like, I want to do that one day? I dream of that. Hey, that's, listen, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Because it's possible. You want that Mercedes? You, you can get it. You just got to work for it. For, for the gym that I was going to, I couldn't afford my tuition. I took two classes, right? Boxing class, wrestling class. And after, after every class, I had to stay after and clean the mats, vacuum the floors, clean the bathrooms, just so that I can pay for my training. You know, because I wanted it that bad. I, I found what I love, I found the passion, and, and I just couldn't sleep without thinking about that, you know? And, and then, little by little, I started getting better at what I was doing, fighting, you know what I mean? I started out-wrestling the guys that wrestled in high school. You know, I started tapping out guys that were black belts. Uh, I started uh, hanging in with those uh, boxers that have boxed their whole life, you know? And, that didn't come overnight. That came because I wanted it. Um, I woke up. I did my road work. I, I jogged at 6 a.m. I worked a day job, too. Sometimes you got to do things that you don't want to do in order to get to where you want to be. And I'm sure you guys are doing that right now. Who wants to wake up in the morning, every morning, and go to school? I didn't want to do that when I was young. I wasn't the best student. but. But that, that builds character, man. If you're waking up late for school every day, if you're not showing up to school every day, or if you're just going to school just to go and, and not even try in your classes, it's going to be like that for the rest of your life. Hey, be proud of where you're from. I came from Woonsocket. I'm in the UFC. Can you think about that? You know how many people in UFC are at my weight class? In the world? There's 50 people on the roster. I'm one of that 50, and I come from Woonsocket, right? That's big, right? And I came from Woonsocket, a small town, a town that people sleep on. But hey, let me tell you one thing. You know, every time I fight, I jump on that cage, I scream, I do whatever I do. Hey! <clears throat> I look down there, you know who I see? I see people from Woonsocket. I see my sister's friends, I see my brother's friends, I see a teacher here and there. I see somebody in high school I never I didn't even talk to in high school. But it takes us, us, this little group here, two people there, three people there. Together, you know, you gotta love your city, respect your city. You know, I, I grew up playing basketball and soccer at Dunn Park, uh, Cold Spring Park, all those parks, just like you guys. Take care of your parks, you know, you see garbage on the floor, pick it up. Love your city, start, start cleaning it up a little bit, you know what I mean? And be, be proud of where you're from, because I'm proud of you.
team is doing that. Thank you, man. Of course. Of course. Thanks, boy. Bye. <laughs>